Hey everyone, welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. I'm a rapid mon. No, <laughs> um, uh, let's go try and solve this case. I'm sure there's a reason we are here. Yeah, because she didn't let us choose. It just transported us here. I wonder what Digimon are here. Impmons! Awesome. That means we can get some uh, Beelzemons. Wait, who am I? I'm attacking with rapid mon. Got it. Um, Macrush. Ooh, let's try that. Okay, that worked. <laughs> You're awesome. I really... Yeah, thank you guys for the help, by the way, about, like, uh, looking out for Yellow Victory. Um, and... Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't remember your name off the top of my head. Uh, someone was telling me, because I was asking about, like, which Mega they would they would have for Rapidmon. And I said, I'm kind of thinking of Tiger, Tiger Vespamon. And then I found out after chapter 19, we can get gold Rapidmon. Which we're so going to do. <laughs> it's going to be sweet. We have to level up. And this move attacks them both, so yeah. Voila. Although we're going up with something called the Nightmare Eater or something. So maybe it's not. Hey. Whoa, we already scanned him all, all that? That USB stick we gave Rapidmon. Level 3, can we access it? We can! Oh no, no, I forgot the treasure! Oh, the treasure's, there's some treasure over here. Let's get it. We got an emerald. Let's access this one. Level 2. Perfect. Look at a little Gobbamon. Wait, why is Gobbamon in my team? Um, Greymon, get your butt in here. There. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Oh, Impmons. Oh, Tyrannomons. Gotta kick some Tyrannomon butt. Okay. Uh, Rapidmon, Sapphire. I know how much they hit, so I think I'm going to try and just ripping net one of them to paralyze them. And now Tyrannomon is going to straight up punch one, maybe. Yeah. Ooh, but we have that neutral heavy strike. But his punches do a lot. Still decent. Um, destruction cannon, ooh, yeah. Whoa, okay, dark is good against red. Attack! That did nothing. <laughs> Punch him. Punch him. Oh, he's stunned. Yeah. Ooh, Extra's combo. Oh, and Rapidmon. He looks so cool. That's why I like Rapidmon. Nice. And we got an at attack attachment. We're doing good. We're doing good. And we actually get to play this episode. The last episode was nothing but... Talk. Hello, you. What you, uh... Do? Oh, wait. There might be sparkles over here. No sparkles. Okay. Look at you. I can't remember your name. I've seen you, though, in Digimon Tamers. Here it is, our one and only Baku. From the look of it, the kid's program has merged with a wild Digimon. Clockmon, that's his name. It's no use trying to reason here. The program's erased whatever traces were left of that Digimon's own sentience. Sentience? Um... Ooh, I love this music. Digimon are easily susceptible to influence from man-made programs. It's one of the reasons why some don't consider them to be autonomous beings with their own sense of free will. There's no getting around this one. You're just going to have to knock some sense into it. Got it. Let's do this. Oh, he's electric, too. Um, I'm electric. Uh, will Mock Rush do it? That's just attack. It's not going to do anything. Yeah. Idle bubble. 
I should have ripping net him. I should have ripping net him. Uh, walk an apom too. Maybe that will do some damage. Okay, <laughs> that was really easy. Close, close. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing fantastic. We'll have a black metal Greymon soon, and a the next Tyranomon. Okay, now that that's over, download the data and collect what's left of Baku. Once you're done, get out of here. Get out of there and come back to the office. Got it. Honey, I'm home. It's hard to believe such a little kid would do such a heinous crime like that. I'm still shocked. Heinous, huh? I guess I see where you're coming from. Even he didn't mean any harm by it, but he certainly did break the law. He certainly did broke the law, really. Uh, but that's all, the, all in the past now that we've exercised your account of that little stalker that haunted it. This case is now closed. Put two fingers up like the peace sign. Uh, we'll be holding up We'll be holding on to the Baku program in the mean, in the meantime. We can tune it up a bit. It would be very welcome. Handy. It could very well come in handy. But I still don't get it. Why did he go after me in the first place? He likes you. Do neither of you really get why that boy picked on her? In a way, there was really no reason except to say that it was love at first sight. He really liked you, Monica. Huh? At first, he probably just wanted to get to know you more with all his heart. But as we saw, he was less mature than he'd like to admit. He'd wanted to tease and mess with you so you'd pay attention to him. At his age, it's pretty standard mentality towards someone you like, really. Phew, that was so fun. Let me help you out again. If something else comes up, okay? I think it'd be pretty cool to have a detective cat put with Digimon like that. You're like a Meowth. Look, he even has like an M on his head. <laughs> you definitely helped us back there, so you don't have my thanks, Pete. Whoops. <laughs> anyway, without she was talking. Anyway, you are still not able to actually leave the confinedness of Nakano Broadway's intranet. Yeah, I think it has to do with how old the internet, the network protocols for the intranet are. It makes it hard to transfer data. It could be I'm just stuck in the vacuum tube in the computer, like how Baku was to that Digimon. Okay. Hmm, there's still too much there's still much to learn about what Pete truly is, it seems. He's so cute. <laughs> Awa Studio Works. I wonder what that is. It's on his shirt. Huh? Why do we call Pete Pete? Well, he's a cat. He was extracted from his own little time capsule where he was frozen asleep all that time. Besides, open enough doors and you're bound to Do you really need a reason for it? Unlike the digital world, the real world is filled to the brim with things that have no real reason for being what they are. She just ran out of a reason. It's a simple pleasure in life that we're entitled to have as humans. Don't sweat it too much. Just kick back and enjoy. Ah. Investigation complete. What? A friend asked what i do if I become a human, but nothing comes to mind. Let's hang out. Yeah. Dependable replier. Sweet. And we got a memory up. Pete's an important member of the team, so make sure you two get along all right. Of course we are. He's a kitty. <laughs> Come to think of it, we're out of beans. Would you pick up some more, would you? I used them all crafting a new recipe yesterday. Oh, your coffee. Your coffee's gross. And I love that joke. Item. Boo, yeah. <laughs> Twenty uh, Tyranomon's level twenty-eight. It has to be at uh, Greymon's level thirty. Understood. Gabumon has to be level fifteen, and Darugamon has to be level thirty. I think twenty-eight, thirty. Let's go get some beans, shall we? Aha! Oh, I went the wrong way. Uh, down. It's in the, like such a weird place. Like I always forget about it. Okay, buying more beans already. I suppose with more employees, the supply is used up that much faster. Come to think of it, when you head back, why don't you buy some ta ga takoyaki from the third floor to go with your coffee? Only a child does no more than what they're asked. Go, go above and beyond, and you'll seem quite clever. 
Okay. Thank you. Oh, boy. What's going on? I got the coffee beans Kyoko asked for. What new horror will she create from these incredible beans that smell so good? I feel bad for you, man. I feel bad. Look who it is. It's Yuka. Or, that's, I don't think that's her name. Gulp. <laughs> so many dots. <laughs> I like that interaction. There's nothing to say. There's a poster on the wall Yuko was staring at. Nationwide B level gourmet battle. Oh my god. Stop. I did so well without yawning. <laughs> Grated yam ramen, tuna scraps, gyoza. The People are slamming upstairs. The famous massive frozen custard dim sum. Looks like, looks like this is what Yuko was looking at. Did I, did I hear her mouth water over this? She did. Her mouth was definitely watering. Nobody's mouth could water over this. She did. Her mouth was definitely watering. Oh, thanks for doing the shopping. We were waiting for you to get back. As you can see, a client has arrived. Hello. Hello. I don't remember her voice. Oh, which way do I want to do this? <laughs> yeah. Let's have some fun. Hello. Mouth watering. What are you talking about? This is our client. Yuko Kamishiro. What is wrong with you? Hmm. Now then, Miss Kamishiro. What matter of case brings you to us? Okay. I want to invite you to investigate my father. Chapter 5. The search continues. Yuko Kamishiro. Ooh, we got another trophy. You mean Mr. Whoops. <laughs> you mean Mr. Satoru Kamashiro, the former president of Kamashiro Enterprises? Yeah. He passed away last year. It was reported to have been a suicide, right? That's not true. My father would never kill himself. I forget her voice and I'm having trouble talking. Oh. I'm I'm sorry for the outburst. There's nothing there's nothing to apologize for. But why do you believe he wouldn't do it? Do you have some proof that he wasn't suicidal? I... No, I don't. That's exactly why I've come to you. I see. That makes sense. If you want clues, then you want, then you may want to start with Makaro Yamashina, whom I had you invest investigate the other day. He was a researcher for Kamashiro until last year. He left the company around the same time my father died and then he disappeared. So you believe Yamashina is connected to your father's death in some way? Yes. Even if there's no direct connection, I'm certain he must know something about my father's death. Hmm, so you had us investigate Makoto Yamashina as a prelude to this case then. Was that your way of testing us? Since you brought another case to us, that implies we passed your test. I apologize. There's so few people around me who I can trust. And I'm so sorry for my uh, little ruse. I hope uh, such an honest answer is proof that we have earned your trust. Oh, this is so sweet. We shall, invest we shall investigate your father's death. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, please, excuse me for a moment. Hello? Yes? No, there's no problem. Yeah? yeah. No, I'm not alone. I understand. I'll be back. Please wait at the head office, Mr. Rai. Goodbye. I'm sorry, something came up all of a sudden. So it appears. Please leave the investigation to us. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now. 
This could turn out to be a really big case. We've got to go all out and solve it. If all goes well, we could expose Kamishio's past along with the company's inner workings. I should ask Detective Matayoshi for his help. Ooh, we get to meet him again. Alright, let's get started on the case. While I'm doing that, I want you to go back out to his home and pay him another visit. Okay. Nivinga? No, sorry. Never mind. It's nothing important. NVNG? It's simply my father. Yeah. Oh, God. It's an abbreviation for nothing ventured, ne nothing gained. My father said something different, though. Something ventured, something gained? I always thought it would be abbreviated as SVSG, but it's a rather elegant and refined expression, don't you think? <laughs> well, no need to think too deeply on it. That would be inelegant. Okay, enough with the chit-chat. Get on that case for me. What? Those bad Eden hackers are kind of scary. You're not afraid of them? I have my own backup. Uh, and friends. Oh, thank you very much for your work on the case. Leave it to me. Yeah. Oh, wait. Did I have to accept it? Okay, we're good. We've solved quite a few cases already. I know there's a lot more, but I'm proud of it. Okay, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, leave a like, comment, uh, hit that like button, and subscribe. Two new videos every day. Uh, thank you guys again. See you next time.